Meg, now that Lois has connections at Fox, we are going to invent our own cartoon show. And we are here to brainstorm ideas. All right, go. Anything that pops into your head. Ooh, how about a show about a bunch of disabled ducks, and we'll call it Handy Quacks. Wow, caught fire a little earlier than I thought we would. Perfect. All right, let's spend many hours on this. All right, the main duck, what's his name? I don't know, uh, Red Hiney Monkey? <laughs> I love it, I love it. All right, now what's his wacky neighbor duck's name? Giddy Goose? Meg, please try to formulate ideas clearly before you vocalize them. I'm not sure you're getting the show, Meg. All right, names, names, names. Come on now. <gasps> Poopy face tomato nose! Yes, write it down. Hurry, 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 hurry. Maybe they live in a pond? Chris, can I talk to you in the kitchen for a sec? I, I don't think she's getting it. She's I, know, I know she's not getting it, but she's not, there's no but she's not getting it. Well, what the hell do you want to do? She's poisoned. She's Absolutely. Rolling. She's dead she weight. She doesn't understand. But without her, the staff is too small. I mean, I, I mean she's just not she's funny. She's completely ruining. Yeah, but I, I think it's important to have a female yeah. perspective in the room. All right, well, then I think we're going to have to expect nothing, right? And then maybe be pleasantly surprised. Okay. All right, here we go. Handy Quacks, episode one, scene one. Let's get them laughing right off the bat. Interior, Red Hiney Monkey's house. What's Red Hiney Monkey doing? Um, maybe he just got up. He's making breakfast. Eh, I don't think people eat breakfast anymore. More suggestions. Ooh, what if Red Hiney Monkey and Poopy Face Tomato Nose are trying to build a house of cards and it keeps falling down? Oh, Jiminy Christmas, we have all been there. That's going in. Oh, we are cooking, 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 cooking now. All right, now let's take a walk down this road, see where it leads us. Dialogue, what are they saying? Um, maybe Poopy Face Tomato Nose says, uh... Boy, this house of cards just doesn't want to stay up. Well, I mean, yeah, if you want to go right at it like a Neanderthal, sure, but I think we're shooting for a little more subtlety here, you know? I, you know, I, I, don't, I don't believe that. I don't believe that that's a real conversation when I hear it. P people don't talk like that, Meg. Ooh, ooh, what if they just bought a new wood stove and Red Hiney Monkey says, Boy, it's so hot in here because we just bought that new wood stove and we're, we're sweating and, and our, our hands, hands are all slippery, slippery and that's, that's why, why we, we can't, can't get, get the card house to, to stay up. up. Thank you, Chris. We have liftoff. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. But none of this stuff seems to make sense. I mean... We haven't even referenced the fact that they're ducks or that they're handicapped, but the show is called Handy Quacks. Uh-huh. Chris, can I see you in the kitchen? This is not working out. This is not working dead, out. Dead. Look, she's no. trying. No. She, she, she gets along with everybody. She does not get along with everybody. She's, yeah, she's kind of hot. She's office hot. Yeah, right. you're right. She's the only woman around here. Yeah, in the real world, she doesn't hold on. In addition to everything else, she's got B.O. She's got B.O. Now, see, the joke is, most people only carry a suitcase when they're going on vacation. But Poopy Face Tomato Nose carries one all the time. And see, he's got a sleeve hanging out. He didn't pack it right. Oh, well, you know what could be funny? Maybe one week he actually goes on vacation. And he's already got the suitcase. Chris, can I see you in the kitchen for a sec? Your writing partner is out of her mind. Okay, first of all, stop calling her my partner. She's, she's terrible. I she's know terrible. that. But, and you know what? It's not, what? Fair. it's not fair to her. Well, that's sort of a cop. Having her here is yeah, not fair yeah, to If her. you want to fire her, you go ahead and fire her. But what? don't pretend you're doing it for her benefit. Don't put that on me. She's it's firing herself. No, she's she can't firing fire herself. herself. With you her lack of talent not... and her lack of funniness. Yeah. I just, I just, you know, I just feel like you and I have captured lightning in a bottle we with have. Andy Quack. Yes. And she's just coming in, unscrewing the top and letting it all out. Meg, your services will no longer be needed.